first off, we want to start off with Glenn. So, Glenn, um, my understanding is that you had a background in wrestling. I did. And so what is it about the sport of wrestling that you had, they have such a fondness for that you wanted to make a film that did center around it? Um, well, I, I think it's a beautiful sport. I think it's a, a sport that's not covered a lot. So, um, uh, and it's a sport that I love. I wanted to present it actually like a, a, a dance, a prize fight. And uh, as far as the film, it was the perfect metaphor for the film with uh, the different characters struggling in the film. I mean, almost everybody was struggling, the community, John Wright, his girlfriend, everything. So uh, the, Michelle, I mean, uh, uh, Melinda, Michael, they're all struggling. So it was a perfect metaphor to blend that in as a backdrop. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I love how this film is about second chances and redemption. Um, Tell me about figuring out in terms of the screen the screenplay writing, tell me how you guys had to figure out how far down John Wright had to be at the beginning of the film for him to start his journey into redemption. We figured he'd have to be pretty far down to be able to have that complete character arc and have that, you know, have him be able to have so much to overcome and really dip down even farther during the film, um, during the story, um, because it makes it that much more rewarding if he is able to pull himself out of that and to watch that struggle happen. It, it, I think it's less interesting if he's already kind of like up here a bit, he has to really be kind of far down to make that journey. And he wanted to run. I mean, he, this, this regret and the shame that, uh, you know, he's been carrying around for a lot of years and he's forced to, you know, he doesn't want to come back. He's forced to come back to deal with something. Um, he wanted to hide. I mean, he wanted to go away and just, you know, rise from the ashes. <laughs> you know, just, he didn't even want to be discovered. It, it was the last thing he was looking for was a second chance. He wanted to come in, get this business done and get out of town. He didn't want to see the people uh, for obvious reasons. So, yeah. No, especially where you, you see him in the beginning of the film, like essentially off the grid and- Absolutely. And I definitely can see that what you two are saying. He definitely starts in that place where it's, he had no choice but to come back. And I found right. that to be very fascinating, right. right. Um, now, when I talked to Hallie earlier, Glenn, uh, she mentioned that you, like I said, and you said you have such, obviously you have such a passion for wrestling. Um, what is it about maybe previous interpretations of wrestling on film that you felt wasn't quite right for you that you maybe you wanted to improve when you made this film. That's interesting. <laughs> well, uh, I mean, Vision Quest. I mean, everybody remembers Vision Quest. Yeah. It some really, you know, wonderful wrestling in it. But I didn't want it to be a film about, you know, cutting weight. Um, mm -hmm. And I know Dan Gable didn't really want it to be about that. We wanted to show. Um, the reality of it. I mean, it, it's uh, the hard work that's involved with it. I hope I'm answering this question the right way. No, uh, it's a beautiful sport. It, it's, it's beautiful. dramatic. And I didn't, you know, I, I don't also, I don't think you get enough of it. In the final match, I mean, you really are with these two guys in this final match. And that's the difference, I think. The other ones, you know, you cross dissolve, you move through it really fast. This one, you're really, you know, you're, you're really working it with them. And I think, you know, and it goes on a little bit, but I think that's what's beautiful about that finale, you know? Uh, it, so we wanted no, to share that. that no, way. absolutely. I definitely can see that. Um, now, I see this film as a sports film. I definitely see this film as a family drama, but I also do see this film as a Christmas film. Um, what are yeah. your thoughts on, on that interpretation? Well, it, you know, it passes through. So it definitely, wrestling yeah. is a sport that happens during... Thanksgiving, Christmas, into the new year, it passes through. So, you know, with that beautiful snow that we had and, and Christmas is always beautiful to see on screen. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, you know, it's a great Christmas film. Yeah, and I, I hope they play it every year. I think the timing <laughs> of the release just, it, it, it works because it is, right. have the holidays in it. Right. No, absolutely. And I do feel like it's a unique look at the holidays, you know, especially when we meet, there's the, the sequence of John at the end in the middle, but we're seeing him at the lowest of the low. 
And I see the point of you guys trying to make, you know, the redemption get to that closer. So I definitely felt that near the end of the film. Um, all right, I, I think that's and I think about it's, it. I think it's a film we need right now. I, I agree. Think, I think we could use it. I agree. I think something about when I watched it, there was something about me watching the film at this time period that I felt like it's necessary. Yeah. Absolutely. And, I mean, we're in a time right now where we're all socially distancing, we're all separated from each other. And this movie is about hope and it's about community and knowing that- and bringing everyone together. At some bringing point, we're gonna get back to that. And so, you know.